only thing on here that's true Jeep is the windshield. I hope you guys enjoy this just as much as I do. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flex Rocks and Rollovers. And today I want to introduce you guys to a very special person with a very special vehicle. Like probably the most insane build of the year. You guys can judge that yourself. Let me show you guys what we brought out. Hey Marvin, I'm Jeff Kirshner. I'm the owner of Juicy Motorsports. And I brought you my brand new LJ, wide open design, all out here in its stunning glory. I'm a boss, 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 baby, I'm a boss, 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 calling all the shots, 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 baby, I'm a boss, boss, you know I'm a baller. Would you call it a Jeep or a buggy? What is it? I would call it, it's a little, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid, I, <laughs> I, that's a good way to put it. Man, this thing is absolutely stunning. How, how long since it's been done? First time out, right? This is the first time out. It's about an 18 month build process that we went through. And a lot of that time was due to, uh, you know, obviously custom paint and things like that. What kind of wheel and tire setup do we have So we're here? running a, a custom weld racing 20 inch beadlock. I was figuring, I've never seen that wheel. Let's go a little closer, it's a 20 inch wheel. Wrapped around what kind of tires? Of course, you know, there's nothing better than a set of red labels, some 42 inch stickies from BFG. Double beat lock, single beat lock, what is this? It is a single bead lock. And uh, yeah, 20 inch. Uh, they're custom powder coated, everything on there, everything on the Jeep has been custom powder coated. The Highland Bronze from Prismatic. That and looks really good. The color combo is so unique and goes so well with it. I love thank it. Thank you very much. What kind of axles are under here? Sure, we're running a set of crane axles uh, with uh, 47 spline uh, Big Bell RCVs. And uh, we're running 513 gears with a PSC uh, power steering ram. Man, that, they look beefy. I'm telling you guys, the bell of these RCV axles, check this out. 47 spline, that's straight beef. Absolutely insane. What kind of suspension setup do we have in the front? We're running 2.0 Radflow coilovers and I believe it's a 2.5 bypass, 5.2 uh, bypass from Radflow. Okay, and then bump stops are also red flow. Yes, and sir. Some... It's all a nice little matching pair. Awesome, and I can see some wide open design limit straps, and that's pretty much everything's been limit strapped. And the the car was designed basically to run a 50/50 travel, so that I could run both in the desert and out here and do some rock crawling. So when we get to the rear, we'll have some special stuff to show you back there. But uh, yeah, basically all aluminum link bars. Super crazy, and then. You got a Warren winch with a Factor 55 hook, I can see. Some really crazy lighting setup over there. Absolutely. Um, completely full hydraulic steering, man. All the belts and whistles. So the grill, is that actually an LJ grill or is that completely custom the whole, built? The whole tub is an Aqualu Industries tub. And, so uh, full aluminum. Full aluminum tub. Uh, we had it shipped out to wide open and uh, you know we obviously heavily modified the, the Jeep and chassis. Uh, the grill came from Aqualoo. In fact, the only thing on here that's true Jeep is the windshield. That's crazy. The hood was a stock LJ hood, but had obviously some very special touches done to it. I see the hood, the, 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 the air intake in yeah, there. Yeah, the that's... scoop was added and uh, obviously it's all hand formed and everything like that. There's so. no Bondo on this vehicle. There's no Bondo on this vehicle. No, zero. None. That's absolutely crazy. None. Complete triangulated four link. Again, all suspension was done by uh, Wide Open Designs out in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Awesome. Um, the inner fenders look crazy too. I mean, yep, even the, that. The uh, inner fenders and obviously the battery box covers here are all custom done. They were done for that. All the tubing is rolled and everything because it still acts like a buggy. That's the batch part about being a hybrid. Yeah. So the light bar, what can the light bar do? It tilts up and down? Yeah, or? so the light bar is on some actuators and actually tips up. So when you come to, you know, nice rock face or something like that, our lighting actually tips up so we can see where we're going. Even when you're on the East Coast and you go night riding in the woods with your buddies, 
you're you're never using your 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 big light bar setup because you're going to blind the person in front of you but with this setup you can just tilt it down which Absolutely. i think is really really neat and makes a lot of sense so again in here this was all custom fabbed aluminum dash custom roll cage everything wide open designs we spent a lot of time you know kind of designing it laying it out making it comfortable for basically every need obviously you can't see out the rear when you're you know when you're buckled in so it has a nice backup camera displays gps and uh, obviously not to mistake with a microwave some people have commented on facebook when I, we first posted some pictures of this thing what the big black box on the passenger seat is it is not a microwave it's a gps <laughs> it's a gps <laughs> other than that it's kind of treated as uh you know a, it's a race car interior let's call it so we have full control over all the mechanics here on the on the vehicle you know so it has a race pack dash race pack dash um and obviously a bunch of s pods here to control yeah, all our functions four, four, four s pods, -pods. yeah four s pod bantams and you can adjust your steering wheel and all that and yep and maybe a pci radio setup your shifter transfer case lever atlas and everything yeah. like that so air conditioning and heating air I mean, conditioning it's got all the creature comforts, air pumper. Air pumper, that is for your helmet, right? Yep, that's for your helmets. And uh, yeah, other than that- Seats, what is this, ostrich? I mean, it looks crazy. Yeah, some seats custom from PRP, made it kind of nice and little gave it a little flavor. And um, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's been awesome. So, uh, so far, so good. I love how low the roof line is too, and you have plenty of space in this thing. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Super clean. And again, uh, the half doors came from Aqualoo, came with the tub. Oh, they came with we the We obviously tub. touched them a little bit at wide open, gave them our own flavor, capped them, and did uh, an interior door panel. Uh, let's um, see that really quick. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, I mean, wow. We got this little lip here. Yep, that was a nice little custom touch. We yeah. usually take that out and we run our window nets and stuff like that. It has window oh, nets. Oh, okay. It, it was really built out of the whole, uh, you know, wanting to enjoy the sport and basically uh, having a vehicle that could go most places. Yeah. Ultimate fun. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this just as much as I do. The rear quarter panel, tell me about it. This is not an LJ anymore. No, it's a, uh, it's not. This, I, uh, this I really have to say uh, was an interesting conversation between me and Adam. He definitely had a plan for this, and I did not. Okay. Um, but to make our rear suspension work the way we needed to, we needed to have 50/50 up and down travel. Uh, up travel was real important to us in this design, so uh, this this modification allowed us to have 50 50 up travel because you know the big bonus is obviously the rear suspension here yeah. and that's what all this modification was done for yeah and it kind of gives it the wide open design rock bouncer look in the back which is yeah, super it, cool it's just, it, it just gives it a new look you know we either thought we were gonna hit a home run or or have a big loser you know and yeah. at the end of the day um i think we nailed a pretty pretty yeah. sexy home run yeah i gotta say like i saw uh, adam woodley at wide open design post a few pictures very very early on when they first laid out the lines i was a little skeptical of how this is going to turn out but now i have to say they nailed it absolutely amazing and okay let's start on the bottom and work our way up there's so much to see there's on this so thing. Much to see. <laughs> oh my god all right so we got a really crazy beefy custom sway bar here yep again this is all custom wide open design suspension so again all adam here but all tube chassis bumps and of course the big thing here is we're running a set of custom billet trailing arms yeah the trailing arms are crazy yeah and then wow. also here your rear shock mount which brings support all the way up through the roll cage and chassis wild so we can get a little speed through the bumps yeah and enjoy ourselves even though we still are a straight axle you know? what rear axle do we have again a there? crane 14 bolt same setup as the front um, uh, the four 513 gears Okay. Uh, Yukon gearing axle, I believe. Okay, and then 40 spline RCVs, I'm assuming? Yes, 40 spline RCVs. And uh, of course, uh, Wildwood 16, uh, 16 six uh, piston. Six, six piston? Pi six piston brakes all the way around. Okay. Wow. Check out this tube work. The bump stop pads, tubing, bump stop cans, sway bar, these massive trailing arms. Wow. And a complete flat belly, as, uh, I see. 
you got complete flat belly and a skid plate so it's uh it's all set to go yeah absolutely nothing in the nothing way you hanging, can slide over can, anything you can do whatever you'd like and then this is your tail light right like you don't yeah tail it's light tail backup light, light. actually have another tail light up top so you can see it no matter what if we're in the dust or the silt or all right. you know anything like that um obviously we have our custom toolboxes and our you know our big um <laughs> you know our big tire lift and everything yeah like okay so tell me about that well basically it's designed this way so I could carry a full-time spare a full 42 with a new rim and everything and then also it's built on actuators because underneath that we have a 55 gallon fuel cell and two toolboxes with a drawer that slide out so there's quite a bit going on under there and uh, it really ran out of space quickly obviously with the radiator and cooling system behind the driver and passenger seats started to run out of stuff real quick so yeah, it's uh, absolutely gave crazy. us all this room and gave us a, a, yeah. a great you know to carry everything and it's all snugged away and nice and neat and how many gallons of fuel can you carry in this thing so this is a 55 gallon fuel cell okay um, wild yeah wild right i have, fi I have 15. yeah <laughs> well we'll help you out when you're <laughs> But uh, basically, we're all strapped in here, good to go. Everything's ready. You know, obviously, spare tire mount, even a little work light under here for convenience. What? Yeah, yeah. It's a little guy, you know. And um, you know, and basically, yeah, the toolboxes are here. And let's show the toolboxes. Latch system behind here. Okay. And the cool thing is, is once these are locked you would never get to the toolbox correct and you have keys for this so you would never nobody fine. can take your stuff and then again you have a nice little and that only opens when this is open correct you can't open this unless the tail gets open and also again with little uh hydraulics in it wild absolutely wild that's so crazy right so plenty of storage Yeah, I really like this. So you lock these and none of this is accessible. So you don't ever have to worry about somebody. Now it doesn't matter. You know. And once the, obviously once the tire carrier comes down, that's a pretty much a done deal. What's the little flashy light down here? A little flashy light so we can back up without hitting anybody. That's your backup camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our little backup camera and uh, works great. And this, by the way, the little purple wide open design text, that's just a little knowledge from my side. Uh, there was a guy, his name was John, forgot his last name unfortunately, but he was uh, one of the first, or a really, really uh, good customer of Wide Open Designs that had some really unique vehicles built by these guys. And unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago and his color was purple. And Wide Open Design from there on forward, always make sure that the, the, there's a purple wide open design tag on every build that they're building in memory of John, which I think is really, really cool. And not a lot of people know this. Let's get a quick sound check. point out the radiator really quick sure this is pretty crazy radiators are back here behind uh, the driver and passenger seat and then it also has a custom panel here built with a nice little mesh and screen that covers it all up there's a fan in front of it and then everything here is locked very cool all right last but not least let's open the hood All steel, same. The hood is not a fiberglass hood or anything. The hood is steel. not a fiberglass hood. The hood is a stock LJ hood, or at least started its life as a stock LJ hood. And uh, obviously was heavily modified. This is an LSR block, all aluminum block, built by American Speed Shop out in Villa Rica. Uh, Hunter built this motor. Um, obviously, uh, you know, nice big billet plenum, plenty of airflow. Um, it is a 454 big block. So I heard you had it tuned by DBR High Performance in Tennessee. Tell me about the numbers. Sure, basically we dynoed it exactly the way you're looking at it right now. 
uh, through all the running gear and the large tires and basically it did 465 to the rear wheels and 462 foot pounds of torque. Wow. And that's a crate engine, I'm assuming. It's not some it junk, is, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it, no, it is not a crate engine. It's complete hand built. It's forged bottom end, ARP studded all the way through. Wow. Forged pistons, cranks, uh, Frankenstein monster heads, the billet plum, uh, Holly EFI system, and obviously some great tuning by a bunch of friends of ours over at HP Tuners. Awesome, very cool. And what kind of transmission transfer cases sure. you hooked so up to So we're, uh, we're running uh, an Atlas, and of course we are running a maximum off-road uh, turbo 400 transmission all billet transmission with a 3400 billet stall converter wow this was the walk around of what does this thing have a name is there this a name it doesn't have a name it I doesn't guess, have it all right, right li write us in the comments what should we call this jeep all right we want to know write it in the we comments need a name. give us a name give us some name advice give us some options here okay it's time to rock and roll so Let's i'll see you it. in a second <laughs> 